You've probably been seeing a lot of campaigns for Proposition 30 and 32 in the last few weeks, but it's hard to decide whether to vote for or against these propositions without knowing what they are. Our Bia Roldan is here to tell you a little more about it. Yes, Lauren, Proposition 30 is actually an initi initiative to raise taxes on those who earn more than $250,000. It'll also raise sales taxes by a quarter of a cent. On the other hand, Proposition 32 will ban um, unions and corporations from using automatic payroll deductions to support their political interests. Here at San Francisco State, California Faculty Association and CSU union members are urging people to vote yes on 30 and no on 32. The CFA and CSU union members are for Prop 30 because of the promise that if it passes, there will be more funding for education across the board, including colleges and universities. It will restore what was cut from us over the last few years, but if 30 fails, we will lose additional money to the tune of millions of dollars to the CSU. But those who are against Proposition 30 say that more revenue does not guarantee that there will be more money for education. Smoke and mirrors. The LA Times says the higher taxes aren't really earmarked for schools, and the independent legislative analyst says the money can pay for other budget programs. No on Prop 30. We'll never know where the money really goes. Those who urge a yes vote on Proposition 32 say that it will stop special interest politics. The special interest killed a bill that would have sensibly streamlined how school districts fire child molesters and drug users. Don't be fooled. Special interests want to keep control of the politicians in Sacramento, and Proposition 32 prevents that. The CFA and the CSU union say that people should vote no because Proposition 32 only takes away the voice of union members and leaves loopholes for big businesses. Because corporations do not use membership dues to do their political advocating. They have huge funds that they can tap into and it would only be unions that really would be blocked from having... They say students should care about these issues because they will be affected. And then it's harder for students to graduate because some classes won't be offered um, when they're supposed to be offered. We'll be at Malcolm X every day from noon to 2 p.m. until the very last day before the elections. If you want to learn more about Proposition 30 and 32 and the other measures that will be on the ballot, you can go to the CFA voter information table or you can visit www.sos.ca.gov. Live at San Francisco State University, I'm Beryl Dunn reporting for State of Events. Back to you. Thanks, Bia.